What's up YouTube? It's Asan here and today we are going to be doing how to Alright, so let's start it again. What's up YouTube? Hi, I'm Asan and this is my aunt's channel and today we are going to be doing how to dye a wig's hair green. Two. What's up YouTube? I'm Hassan and this is my aunt's channel and today we're going to be dyeing hair green. Hey, money. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here with yet another video as told by my nephew. I'm going to be showing you guys how I got green hair. I started off with these two colors. I used the Kiss Colors Temptations in the color Hunter Green and Adores Clover. And I'm actually using some old hair I had. Um, I went ahead and bought a new closure, so I just took the closure off that old wig, bleached it, and bought a new closure and bleached that. Here is why I said I didn't even know if I wanted to record this, because I didn't even get me, you know, painting on the dye. But that's what I did. I painted some, well not painted, I applied dye, the hunter green on certain parts of the wig and then on other parts of the wig I added the clover. And here is um, me trying to show you guys where the hunter green was at and where the clover was at, but the lighting still wasn't picking it up. And I washed it out And here, as you can see where I'm washing it out, you can kind of see the colors, but still it wasn't giving what it was supposed to give like it was in person. And here is the hair dried. You can see I missed some parts where the blonde is peeking through. And honestly, looking at this, I was not satisfied. It looked very patchy and uneven, and it wasn't even as vibrant as I wanted it to be. You can see how dark it is. And even me using the flash, it still wasn't doing justice. Without the flash, it just looked like some parts are green and some parts weren't when honestly I wanted the whole thing green. And applying the closure, it blended in. Like of course they match color wise, but it wasn't what I wanted in my head. So here I'm showing you guys how I am going to fix it by water dyeing it, the watercolor method. Of course you want to use some boiling hot water. And the key to the watercolor method you don't want to use too much water if you want the color to be very vibrant i filled half the tub with some hot water and i used the whole bottle of the hunter green and the clover and i mix that in very well and just plop the wig in there and i wanted the top of the wig to have as much color so I dip that in first that's another key thing too when you're watercoloring always dip what you want to be more saturated in the color first and that's why I wanted the top because the ends are going to catch the color regardless but that top honey I wanted it to get as much green as possible so that's why I dipped it first And here is a clip of me showing the hair air dried, well blow dried outside. And at first I wasn't even going to record or even upload this video until I was on Instagram and I seen like green hair was kind of on the rise, like trending. Usually it's like that lime green, but I haven't really seen people as of lately do um, emerald green or like a dark green. And so that's when I was like, oh snap, let me, you know, upload my video before anything. But anyways, continue. Now I'm showing you guys a mini clip of how I cut like little wannabe layers, you know me. I'm not a professional, I just fake it till I make it. But here I'm showing you guys how I 
apply little layers. I just pull the front up. Well, I part the front. I pull it up and I cut it like a blunt cut. And then I take from where I cut all the way down on the side, like where my ear will be, and I take that and I cut that at an angle. And I do the same to the other side, but on the back side of the closure, like in the crown area, kind of back crown area, I comb that out, bring it up and down, and do another blunt cut on that. I'm sorry if this is a little confusing, but it makes kind of sense, I hope so. It makes sense to me, but you take the back side, part it, bring it forward, and cut it also at an angle. Well, I cut it at an angle. And again, this is some old hair I had. This used to be a 30 inch, but I just wasn't feeling it anymore and I didn't mind cutting it. And here I'm just showing you guys how it looks after. And I used my iPhone to record this clip because I feel like my iPhone was picking up the different color greens more better than my Canon was. Shocking, right? Like an iPhone coming through. But here, hopefully you guys can see like how green it is. It's like an emerald. But at the same time, it's it's. I hope it's not coming off like teal or aquamarine because it's not. But it's like a very nice lucky green. And you can see where that hunter green is at the end of the closure. It just looks so cute together. And that shine, of course, I'm going to give that credit to Adore. You know, me and Temptations have like a live-hate relationship. Here is the closure I was telling you guys about. I'm like addicted to Beauty Forever's HD closure. I think I can never go back. I should also upload a plucking video, but either way, get into this closure. I took some pieces out for the baby hair and pressed it with a hot comb and did some like loose curls and pinned them so they can, you know, set. Different cameras is picking up so many different colors. Like on my Canon, it's kind of coming off blue. On my iPhone, it, it's the most realist, I want to say. And in this clip outside on another iPhone, I feel like it's still coming off a little blue, but it's very much green. But I want to thank you guys so much for continuing to subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and thumbs up this video, share, comment what you think, your opinions, and I'll catch you in my next one.